and Justin, Canadians who love to travel and share their experience through videos. We're currently on day five of our 10 day road trip across Costa Rica. We spent the first part of this trip exploring the luscious rainforest of the northern region and now we're in Tamarindo on the Pacific coast. Merry Christmas from Tamarindo! Since yesterday was Christmas Eve, we decided to treat ourselves to a snorkeling and sunset cruise. Today we're driving two hours to another beach town called Samara where we'll be spending the next two nights. If you like our videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload new content. We'll give you a tour of our Airbnb where we've been staying at for the past two days. So it's one big space, two clean size beds, very comfortable, a lovely washroom, a big fridge, good for beers, and the best view ever. Right now it's 6.15 and we're off to breakfast. Well, it's definitely a quiet Christmas morning. There's one place that's open and it smells good. Bye -bye. <laughs> just finished our lovely breakfast and now we're heading to the beach. I did the French toast this time and it's a bakery so obviously they were the best French toast I've ever had. Don't tell mom. And I had a smoothie bowl. It was bananas with some coconut milk and some granola on top with pecans. Quite hot being Santa in the tropics. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Yeah, how does he do it? Beard must get sweaty. Mm -hmm. So very quiet, but you see mainly people going surfing actually. After breakfast, we went to the beach one last time, Tamarindo Beach. Now we're on the way back to our Airbnb to pack because we got to hit the road. We are going to a outdoor yoga studio on the way to Samara. It is the one thing that I wanted to do. I always had this vision of doing yoga with like beautiful rainforest scenery. Had to try it. So typically if you're going from Tamarindo to Samara, you would take the main route, but because we're going to the Bodhi Yoga Center, we're actually taking the route that goes close to the coast. I just hope it's paved the whole way because it really, really slows things down in a sedan if it's an unpaved road. We were a bit trigger shy before booking our rental car. We were debating if it was worth it to pay the, essentially double for a 4x4 versus the Econo sedan that we have. And so far it's worked out just fine. Too deep? Yeah. Is there another way? Uh, all right, thank you. Thank you. There must be a way across. My dreams of doing yoga at the Bodhi Resort have officially been squashed. After a gruesome 45 minutes of bumpy roads, here we are. Yeah, the worst part of all this is um, this part of the drive has been absolute hell. <laughs> and now we likely have to do it all back in reverse just to get on a different road. I'm oh, hoping yeah, we see a sedan um, do it but so the motorcycles get to take this little dinky metal path thing and then I've only seen two SUVs drive through the water and it looks very deep. It's just like a little too deep. If it was all like this then it wouldn't be so bad right? No. Yeah. But over there it's like at least this much. Too much. Oh, so damn close. It's such a long way to go. And now I, I'm honestly I think I think we have to drive all the way back. To Tamarindo. Almost. We have finally made it onto regular pavement. Does this survive? That was long. And now I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we found a restaurant. I don't know what town we're in. I think the town of Nicoya. Although I thought that was a region. I don't think it's a soda, but we don't care. These casados always stun me about how big they are for the price that you're paying. I mean, it's a huge plate, a feast. I took the pescado casado. Pescado, I think, is fish. So, yes, that's what I took. We'll find out soon enough. 
I said, I, I took one with pork, but then I said, yo soy vegetariano, and she understood. And so I got an avocado instead, which is great. arrived at our Airbnb in Samara. I'm gonna show you around. It is absolutely adorable. Welcome to our Samara unit Airbnb tour. First off, you get in, you take about eight steps down to the living area slash kitchen. Dinner table, which we haven't had anywhere to put down our stuff other than a bed, so it's kind of cool. Over here we have a bathroom, and over here is the bedroom. And the best part of this place, a great balcony with a view of the ocean. We've always wanted that. It's about a 10 minute walk down some stairs and a path to get to the beach, but you can just directly walk to it from the Airbnb instead of taking our car. And that's it. So we are now off to the beach with the remaining three hours of daylight today. seen many dogs so far walking way ahead of their owners and then waiting for them to catch up but never a horse and that's no longer true. A white horse walking by itself down the beach with the sun setting. Whoa! Believe it or not, this is actually the first time I'm going swimming off a beach. Yesterday we went snorkeling, so it doesn't really count. I don't know about you guys, but that first dip, when you haven't been in the ocean for like a year and a half, and you can't see your feet, it's always like, ah. I mean, you gotta trust where you step. It's so refreshing. Yeah. The water is not too cold. Um, the biggest thing is that you don't see all the shops and restaurants from the beach. They're all tucked. There's like a, a tree line full of palm trees and everything is behind it. So really, you almost feel like it's just an untouched beach, but it's not. Because if you just walk across the tree line, there's hotels, there's restaurants, there's convenience stores, there's everything. But you don't see them from the water or from the beach. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And it's way less busy. So yeah, so less busy. And uh, so far, it's definitely more peaceful here. Whoa, that's strong. Woo! Sun just set here at Samara Beach. So everything's looking nice and hazy, pink. Beautiful. We're, we're trying to pick a restaurant and the power just went out in the whole town. <laughs> All right. We're about to say yes or no to a place. Yeah. And then, and then Jess is like, where do you want to go? And then the power went out and I was like, I want to go away from this. Dark. Like the whole street is dark. So we just asked, uh, the man working at the ice cream shop in town, if this happens often, it's like a citywide power outage. He's and like, he said, see. Si. And then I said, el tiempo, meaning like the time, he said, 20 minutes. 20 so minutes. It's been so like five minutes. Our plan is restaurants obviously can't cook right now. We are hungry, but we'll wait the 20 minutes. And, uh, but it does not take power to serve you a beer. So 